40. Calculate the delta G notch for each of the following reactions from the equilibrium constant at the temperature given. Okay, so in this case we have lead 2 iodide, PBI2 solid, which will dissociate into Pb2 plus aqueous plus 2I minus. They give me the temperature of 25 degrees Celsius, that's room temperature, and they give me a Kp value of 8.7 times 10 to the negative ninth. We need to find that Gibbs free energy, the delta G value. Now, if you spot out that you're looking for a delta G value and they give you an equilibrium constant, there basically is only one formula that we can use. There's two variations depending on if you're solving for delta G or if you're solving for K. In this, we're solving for delta G. So it's easiest to just memorize the formula as this. Delta G equals negative RT times ln of K. There's your equilibrium constant. Now, I put just a random K value because any equilibrium constant is good in this position. So they could have given you a Ka for acids, Kb for bases, Kc for concentration, Kp for pressure. Doesn't matter, just as long as you have a K value. Here they give you a Kp, so I'm just going to say, okay, that's the 8.7 times 10 to the negative ninth. Now we just have to find out what the R and the T is. Well, the R is a constant number. That's why they didn't give it to us, because chances are on a test or quiz, you're probably going to have to memorize it. I like to use 8.314. Now, if I'm using 8.314, it's joules per mole times Kelvin. So if it's in Kelvin, the temperature, capital T, has to also be in Kelvin to cancel that unit out. But uh-oh, they give me Celsius. So the first thing I have to do is I have to convert the Celsius into Kelvin. Well, that's easy, right? Plus 273. More specifically, it's plus 273.15, which is what I'll use. But you could use 273. Let's see if our answers at the end matches. This is room temp, so it's ingrained in me that room temp is always 298. So 298.15 Kelvin, and that's the number that's being thrown into there. All numbers are there. Let's solve. Delta G equals the negative is in the formula. So it's negative times the R value, 8.314, times the temperature value, room temp, that's 298.15, and then times by the natural log ln of 8.7 times 10 to the negative ninth. If you're using a TI-84, you can plug all this into the calculator at one shot and you will get your answer, which is why I love using the TI-84. Delta G equals negative 8.314 times 298.15 times the natural log, that's the LN button over here, and now I have something in scientific notation. So I'm going to say 8.7. And what I like to do is I don't like to write times 10 to the, I will say second comma. This E button means times 10 to the. So it's like 8.7 times 10 to the, and now all I have to do is just plug in the exponent, negative nine. Done. Close the parentheses, press enter. There's the number. So the delta G equals 46,000, a huge number. And zero, zero, we'll say if we round it, it's like zero, zero, seven. And this is in joules per mole, because those are the two units that did not cancel. Now, even though they didn't say it, the standard delta G unit is actually kilojoules. So let's just convert to kilojoules. It's just good practice. Joules to kilojoules, divide by 1,000. So I'm just going to take the number on the calculator, divide by 1,000, and then we will put the correct sig figs to it. So. Delta G equals, I used a lot of uh, sig figs for my Kelvin and only two for my K value. So I'm going to use two. So it's just 46, 46 kilojoules per mole. And that is your final answer. And that's done for this problem. Thank you so much. What do you think? I really hope this helps. You just got to memorize this formula. Chances are you got to memorize the R value and you're golden for these. Okay, we're moving on. I will hopefully be talking to you in another lesson. I love helping you guys out and go check the channel out. There's physics and math videos at the moment with more uh, subjects coming out in the future. I hope you have a great day. Be well, and I'll talk to you soon. Bye-bye.